Okay, I know what it's like to be misrepresented. That's why I went into um, representing the conjoined end time agendas of God, Christ, and Lucifer. Uh, is because none of those three entities is being properly presented by those who claim to love them. Those who claim to be looking out for, you know, their interests here on this planet. Uh, which this planet uh, right now is in premonition of existence mode uh, slash spirit scan mode. Uh, we're all being scanned to see if we would negatively affect others to see if we can be allowed to actually really exist. Um, God warned of this with examples of being able to take time backwards, um, making scientists advance enough to uh, figure out that there's a time-space continuum so that if you uh, did what God said will happen uh, as your final outcome, if you're scanned out, which is the wages of sin is eternal spiritual death, um, then you will be as if you never existed, so you're not doing the evil you're doing right now. You see, but before you get, um, before you get eternally executed, get your wages of sin, which is eternal spiritual death. Um, you you also face uh, the time loops of, of judgment, which okay, uh, if you add on the hidden prophecy of Daniel to uh, do unto others as you want done unto you. Uh, the added prophecy of Daniel further clarifies uh, what's going to happen to you after you die. Um, if you negatively affect others, that you will, uh, uh, you know, do unto others as you want done to you in the time loops of justice, I guess, put it like that. Um, many of you don't know that uh, spirit memory is non tamperable, it's non deletable, uh, non erasable, can't mess with it, can't delete it. It records everything, including things said things thought, omissions, uh, things that you did that you weren't supposed to do, uh, things like that. And uh, it, uh, it, it, when other entities die, their spirit memories that are connected to you, uh, that you negatively affected, they connect to you. So there's like no way out of anything you do. You can't kill the witnesses because their spirit memory is non-tamperable, non-deletable. And all you do is... Um, add to the offenses in their spirit memory and all things have spirit memory the, the eyes of the Lord are everywhere okay uh, all things that interact with humans have spirit memory like animals domesticated animals and stuff like the little kitties that are being tortured the little puppy dogs that are being euthanized every day neglected abused uh, they all have spirit memory it's all going it's, it's, it's getting recorded, the omissions of people that were supposed to adopt animals that didn't adopt them, that opted to do other things instead, uh, that kind of thing, okay? Um, <laughs> in Lucifer's case, there's these freak charlatans who have written a black Bible and associated him to satanic rituals and all this other shit. This is uh, by the work of shitworm spirits, lesser caliber spirits than Lucifer, you know, Satan, and the fallen angels, okay, who had bodies. They could actually have sex with the women. The shitworm spirits could not, so they were angry. So they decided that they would, um, they would get revenge on God and Lucifer and the angels, uh, for cutting them out of the action by, um, sabotaging their conjoined end time agenda. And this is what they've been doing with their false history and, uh, you know, everything that they've, that they've done. And how they have taken and they've empowered weak-minded entities that will obey their orders, what they want done, uh, to defy what God, Christ, and Lucifer will want done on the planet, which is for all people to be happy, empowered, um, liberated, and able to choose Jesus Christ on their own, right? Not be hindered from this decision. And um, then when Lucifer comes back here pretending to be Jesus Christ, uh, he sifts the wheat from the chaff. You see, there's a harvest, a huge harvest, um, but there's a uh, tribulation which has been shortened down to a growing season from seven years. 
Uh, this is so that the women who will be having sex with the angels, not being raped by them, they'll be being ravished by them. See, Lucifer is not a pedophile, nor is he a rapist. Christ said, suffer the children to come unto me. He said this at a time when Lucifer did not even know that he was going to be coming back to earth pretending to be Jesus Christ. Okay? Um, at this time that Christ said this. And uh, Christ would not have said that if he knew, you know, that Lucifer was a pedophile and that, hey, wow, you know, I'm telling him, to, telling people to bring their kids unto me, you know, and he's going to come here pretending to be me and he's a pedophile. Christ would not have done that because Christ is not a pedophile. God Allah is not a pedophile, okay? Uh, they do not condone um, the defiling of innocence. They don't condone that shit. Um, and, you know, the, this is how when Lucifer and the fallen angels get here, um, they will be able to overpower the those that are controlled by the shit worms, and they will be able to monitor people, uh, what their activity via the brain waves they're sending off, like, Right now, they're uh, they're torturing animals. They're sending brain waves into the cosmos that they'll be able to monitor. They'll be able to sense that. Uh, they're defiling innocence, fucking little children. Um, those brain waves, when you defile innocence, those brain waves are going to the to the cosmos, and the angels and Lucifer will be able to sense that. So they won't be able to get away with these things, and they won't be able to get away with terrorism or anything else. So it's like he'll be able to let people out of the prisons. I know that it's looked like some uh, crazed uh, dictators who want to negatively fulfill prophecy are doing stuff like letting prisoners loose and, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. Want to disarm the, the tax base who supports them and keeps the government going by paying taxes um, and then turn loose uh, these terroristic mentality, uh, you know, thugs upon them to uh, wipe them out. You know, this is like a sport, a blood sport. Um, and it's like, um, this is all shitworm mentality, uh, you know, much like the misrepresentation of me, uh, you know, the male me, all, all my life, you know, it's like, uh, being emasculated, uh, represented to the world as, I'm not valuable enough to have a driver's license, uh, you know, even though some drunken, retarded, inbred chemical toilet, uh, who likes to get prescriptions to get high off of them, um, and smokes ungodly amounts of weed to get high, not for medical purposes, uh, this freak can have a driver's license. He can be independent. He can have a, a, a business and, and, and a job, you know, all the things that, that a driver's license benefits somebody. But I am uh, presented to the world as, oh, I'm such a weak little... Uh, freak that I, you know, oh, if, if a beer is put in front of me, I'll turn into a raging drunk immediately. Um, you know, it's like, <laughs> um, I, I, I need to smoke ungodly amounts of pot. No, oh, I might drive high. Uh, yeah, you know, well, if I would drive high, I'd drive high now, don't you think? Right? I mean, if, if, if I didn't have, um, any restraint, then I wouldn't have any restraint now, right? See, so this is all, it's just a witch hunt. It's, uh, it's, they've been doing this, it's ongoing emasculation, uh, you know, hey, you know, I don't deserve to be equal to the other men out there who are not my equals if, you know, they need to drink and get behind the wheel. They are not my equals if they need to get high and drive. Yeah, they're not my equals, you're goddamn right, they're beneath me, you know, I'm, I'm a god compared to them, you see, even somebody not wanting their dick anymore, you know, it's like, yeah, so, uh, you know, I, I have no uh male aspirations anymore thanks to this it's like what good would it do me to have them uh you know this year i dumped how much money and and effort into this my blood pressure is shot to the to the moon um you know with this battle it's like and and then to find out that you know somebody they just literally raped my character slandered me um you know destroyed me uh put it on public record and this is uh, based on private stuff, it's, 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 you know, under the HIPAA laws, it, we're not even supposed to be able to talk about, uh, my health care and, and what's being done within the realm of that, you see, so, um, and here they've taken it and they've used it as this torch to burn down my life with their little witch hunt, they burned down my life with this medical marijuana thing, um, which is not even an issue 
uh, against the crimes that you know that that I supposedly don't have a license because of alcohol related issues not because of drug related issues I don't have any uh, instances of any arrests or interaction with law enforcement that I had uh, any kind of drugs even marijuana okay all of my driving offenses after that where I didn't get busted uh, drinking and driving or doing anything else what did I have coffee and cigarettes Okay, it's like um, the, this thing where uh, they want to make me lesser than other people. And they've done it all my life. And, you know, they're, they're, nothing works. Oh, they're, oh, I'm not compliant to their, their orders. Well, when I was compliant, you didn't give it to me 22 years ago. I was compliant, you know, three times and a half over. Y'all wanted one year of AA. I had three and a half years of AA under my belt, baby. Um, it's like, what was your excuse then? Some little redneck, red-nosed, drunken chemical toilet, uh, driver's license, appeal division, uh, you know, evaluator, he, you know, didn't like me, so he decides to shoot me down. Well, you know, I, I should have a right to a jury trial, a, a jury of my peers in such a, something so drastic as this, you know, this is, this is major. This is, this is, you know, life-changing. You're, you're debilitating the male me putting me in this position where I have to do these female things I have to uh, do photo shoots and stuff like that to 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 uh, make up the the loss the, to try and recoup the money that I'm losing you know I have to uh, do things that I I wouldn't normally have to do I wouldn't normally have to contract myself out as a, you know a transsexual female model uh, for various projects if you know y'all you know the the government wasn't so corrupt and you know it's like this law this uh 257.303 it's a corrupt law it's it's old and uh then they compiled another law on it to make it you know all but impossible for me to get my driver's license back i'm not going to go interact with that criminal element again uh that you know they're on chemicals and oh they need help because they think about getting high all the time fuck that i don't get high all the time you're not putting that spirit on me i don't think about getting high all the time it's not a focus of my day i don't get up and think about uh you know oh i need to get me some pot or some 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 uh some oxycontin or something you know or or some beer i don't get up thinking about that shit and you're not gonna put my life into that mode where the focus of my life is weakness because you know some molested freak can't be a substance abuse evaluator a substance uh you know abuse counselor without automatically assuming that if somebody had to contract her services that they must be damaged and weak and need her to order them to do something or they can't have their driver's license back it's like fuck you you gestapo ass bitch you broken stick ass bitch you're so rigid you're like a stick all it's gonna take is a wind to blow you and break you bitch it's like yeah it's <laughs> it's horrible how you know because you're fucked up in your head lady that you know i can't have my driver's license back after 22 years of fucking you know letting y'all sit on it illegally okay this is 32 years of not having a driver's license i let you have it 10 years you still wouldn't do the right thing and, and clear it so then i went and tried to clear it and did everything y'all wanted done Y'all still didn't give it back. Now, 22 years later, I dump all this money into it. Look where we're at. See, this is, this is, uh, it's debilitating. Now, imagine being Lucifer, God, and Christ. And, you know, uh, millions of souls are at stake. Billions. And they're being misrepresented by these freaks, these fools, these snake oil salesmen, these charlatans. That, you know, they don't give a fuck, you know, how bad they make them look. They take God's name in vain. They put the, the, the God squad patch in their arm and, the, and they're evil as fuck. They're more evil than, than, you know, anybody that's proclaiming to be Luciferian or Satanist. You know, it's like just they've taken it in vain. It's not saying God damn. OK, God damn. It's really saying, uh, you know, that you are gods, but you don't actually live a life that exemplifies that statement. That's what taking God's name in vain is. Okay, if you really roll with God, you will not harm another entity on earth, not purposefully. <laughs> you see, so it's like, and these freaks have, you know, they've they've 
made me, the male me, not want to live, uh, give up, you know, just give up the ghost, go lay down and die now, <laughs> you know, because can't get credit where credit is due. <laughs> abstinence does not get credit for abstinence in Chris Seeger's eyes, man. 